uh, welcome to this new video of prep insta uh, it's about crypt arithmetic addition uh, generally these kind of problems or crypt arithmetic problems are asked in exams like e litmus and some campus placements exams like um, emphasis and ibm in e litmus most of the general problems are uh, crypt arithmetic multiplications but uh, for you to be able to solve the crypt arithmetic multiplication problems i guess you should uh, also know crypt arithmetic addition problem because that is how uh, you will explore or you know you will get into the area of thinking uh, on how to solve crypt arithmetic problems and because crypt arithmetic multiplication problems would certainly be harder than crypt arithmetic uh, addition problems so uh, let's just go ahead and start the video uh, what i'll suggest you to do whenever you start up with the crypt arithmetic problem that write all the numbers possible numbers from 0 to 9 uh, that can be taken up by all these alphabets here so that whenever you get any value let's say the value of s is found out to be 4 you can just strike off the value 4 and you know what are the new values or what are the existing available values for the other alphabets to be taken up right um, i'll try to be slow it is okay uh, if you don't understand it in the first time uh, you can go back to the video maybe 15 20 seconds back in the video and try to understand the problem concept that i've uh, told you because even i did not understand the problem in the first time so it's it's completely acceptable if you don't understand it in one go you can make multiple retries i'll try to be as descriptive as i can be uh, the second thing that I'd also like to tell you is that whenever you solve this problem, uh, it's a good habit and it'll be more easier if you always start from the left hand side here. Now, I'll tell you the reason why uh, you'll understand it within a minute. Now, uh, coming to the first part, S plus M equal to O. Now, it is not equal to O. It is equal to M O. Some carry is going here. Now, the carry can only be one uh, you if you understand basic mathematics you the carry can never be two, two right because the uh, the number maximum number can be nine and nine plus nine happens to be 18 right so we clearly get that the value of m would be one so we'll do two things we'll scratch off one from here and also we'll put the value of one here m equal to 1 here so that uh, we can you know more visually see what's going around in the problem and we can fetch the value other values from here right so now we have the value of m equal to 1 now let's try to find out some more values now here s plus 1 equal to a number greater than 10 now obviously it's a number greater than 10 right it could be 11 it could be 12 it could be 13 to 18 right now what should be added to 1 that you get a value greater than or equal to 10 right uh, the only possible scenario here is 9 because you can't have a value of 10 you have only have the number 0 to 9 right so the value of s can be 9 now that is not really true what if if you're if we are actually smart we would be smart enough to realize what if there's a carry of one here right so then the value of s has to be eight so currently we have two values of s that we'll note down s can be either nine or it can be eight if the carry is there so we'll just write it down here so that in future if we come up with a situation where we can identify if it's 9 or if it's 8 right so what we'll do next is um, we certainly from here did get to know that the value of o happens to be 0 because if the value is of s is 9 then 9 plus 1 is 0 again if the value of s is 8 in case of a carry then 8 plus the carry 1 9 plus the value 1 happens to be 10 again so we'll just remove o and replace it with 0 right and we'll also strike off 0 from here so 
obviously we are making some progress okay so now we also forgot to remove zero from here right you also need to remove it from everywhere right now we go about the problem we see that e plus zero equal to n this clearly implies that e equal to zero now uh, e equal to n i'm sorry now how is that possible in crypt arithmetic problem there is a general rule of thumb that two alphabets cannot take up a unique value now either we are doing something wrong and as i said again you have to be taking care of all the carries possible maybe n plus r is generating a carry here obviously it is so we'll what we'll do in this situation there is a carry of one that is coming here from the previous addition n plus r equal to e in this case we clearly get that e plus one equal to n right yep so these are the two things that we've gotten till yet let's try to identify some more interesting things now what i see uh, is that e plus zero and a carry one cannot generate any carry here right because you're not adding anything here so how would a carry be generated here right so the value of s would definitely be nine so we can strike off nine because we don't have any carry here right there is no carry here so we'll just go ahead and remove the value of s wherever it is right so we've gotten some progress we've made some progress in this changes on the screen i've implied one situation that e is less than n obviously e plus one is equals to n this obviously implies that e is let's say if n is 8 then e has to be 7 right um so e is less than n that is one thing also i've written the values here so we can track our progress better now let's try to find some more situations from here that is um, let's say e n plus r is e right which clearly is evident from here n plus r equal to e now how is this possible you are adding some value to r and it is going uh, and it is being e and we've just assumed that e is less than n so obviously um this is a double digit number so this is not e rather than that it's e plus 10 i'll explain you it with an example let's say the value of n is 4 and the value of r is 3 in that case n plus r is 7 right but in our case the value of n happens to be let's say 6 and the value of r is 5 in that case this is 12 and the value of e is 2 in that case so we have a certain case like that there right so we'll uh, instead of n we'll all uh, we'll write e plus 1 plus r equal to e plus 10 i'm sorry for the handwriting it's very hard to write though right um, so from here we can obviously cancel out the value of e and r is equals to 9 directly we can get from the situation but how is this possible the value of uh, 9 is already taken by s correct so we've made some uh, you know we made some uh, mistake here from somewhere let's try to reiterate probably there was a carry right it was maybe not n plus r equal to e it was 1 plus n plus r equal to e in that case um, a 1 has to be added in this situation right which makes the value of n as 8 I'm sorry which makes the value of r as 8 so we'll just cut off a from here again which i had done already right um i'll try to clear up the cutter from the screen so we can uh, we have more space for the other equations coming up 
right and i also write the value of r equal to 8 here and in this this has to be done in every um, you know iteration because if you're not doing it properly um, you will not be able to see the situation and what value which is right uh, so we'll try to identify uh, some more equations if we can let's try to go to the last column that is d plus e equal to y now uh, let's just write the whole scenario that is d plus e equal to y now i'll remind you one thing we had added one carry over here in the last scenario right because the value of r was coming to be 9 and there when which is not possible so we assume that there must be a carry here right so d plus e is y plus 10 correct now let's try to find out uh, let's let's uh, let's hit and try some value for d and e what if the value of uh, d was 6 and the value of e was 7 then the sum is 13 so yeah it satisfies uh, y is equals to 3 but in that case the value of n has to be the value of e that is 7 plus 1 8 which is not possible so yeah uh, this scenario is not possible let's exchange the values what if the value of e was to be 6 uh, was to be uh, 6 and the value of d was to be 7 in that case also uh, the value of n would be 7 so this is also not possible right so uh, let's try something else then right um, the value 13 is not possible maybe uh, the value 12 how can we make 12 right um, let us assume that um, in that case 5 plus 7 happens to be 12 right uh, and the value of n in that case if the value of e happens to be e happens to be 5 then n is e plus 1 then the value of n is 6 and in that case we've assumed the value of d is 7 so this satisfies the whole scenario and what does the value of y come out comes out to be uh, 5 plus 7 equal to 12 right so the value of y happens to be 2 uh, under this scenario so let's just cut out all the values that we've gotten okay now let us go back to our uh, changing of the things right the value of n is found out to be 7 so i'll change it from everywhere now the value of e is found out to be 5 right and the value of d is found out um, okay I'm, i've made some mistake clearly right the value of n is found out to be um, 6 the value here is also 6 the value here uh, for y would be 2 the value here for e would be 5 the value of here or uh, e again is 5 and the value of d happens to be 7 now let's verify this 7 plus 5 is 12 1 carry 6 plus 8 plus 1 is 15 again 1 carry the value of e here which we didn't change 1 carry plus 5 is 6 that is good now 9 there's no carry here 9 plus 1 is 10 it satisfies the whole uh, satisfies the whole scenario so we found out everything so uh summing up everything with a conclusion you should always start from the left because you don't know you have to you know reiterate if there's an uh carry and if there's not and start from here and try to end somewhere here or here right and this the value of 3 and 4 are not taken anywhere uh, I'm sure there are uh, more difficult problems more challenging problems that I'll try to cover up but I suggest you to watch this video twice because even if you understand it perfectly um, 
you i want you to catch up the thumb rules and thumb points which are there when you should be solving that also if you have any questions please write down those in comments i'll be really happy to help you with any question that you might have anything that you did not understand i'll try to explain it in the comments make sure you also like and subscribe thank you